Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Dimica or Dimica or Dimica full HD 1080 camera. It's a mini camera which comes with a number of clever features. Number one, of course, is that it's it's very small. It's it's only 36 grams and very tiny. Designed for use in a car as a car DVR or on a quadcopter to or on a bicycle or just as a general action cam. The clever thing about it is it has a, a range of functionality embedded in it. So it has a shock G sensor, so it'll sense if your car uh, has an accident or something like that. Also does motion detection, and you can download software to trigger various applications with it. It's 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. Uh, it says up to 12 megapixels. I'm not sure what that means, but I, I'm assuming that it's, uh, it is a, a genuine high def. Um, we've seen the, the the quality of the video and it's pretty good. Has a microphone inside, supports micro SD up to 32 gigabytes, and will give you about an hour's videoing from one charge. So let's have a look inside the box. You get a little but fairly comprehensive user guide, which is nice to see that in a product of this this. Uh, price point and there's the unit itself and let's just look quickly that's just a cable you just get a, a charge cable usb charge cable and that's it in the box and then the camera itself is fairly dinky on the bottom a tripod slot a led for showing you when you're charging micro SD card up to 32 gigs, as I said, and a micro USB for charging there. And then on the top, just the power button and the start video button. On the front, the microphone, um, what do you call that, sort of socket, <laughs> and the lens. So to get it going, hit the power on, and you get a nice flashing light and a green light to tell you you're ready to go. So that's in standby mode now. Hit the button once, and you get video. So then it's just a matter of pointing it somewhere. It comes with a range, there are a range of accessories available for it. So you can have straps and a waterproof effect and a tripod actually. In fact, I think I, yes. There's just a, oops, a simple tripod there. Nothing spectacular, but enough to do the job. So you can, that's one of the accessories and the waterproof pouch, which is pretty effective in keeping the, the, the water out of your unit when you've got it in there looking through the front perspex. So it's a, it's a nice um, little option if you want to take it, obviously not deep sea diving, but if you want to go to wet areas or have a bit of beach fun or go maybe even a bit of snorkeling i think it, it's it's suitable for snorkeling as well um you can use this and it'll save your camera from dying there you go it just comes out there can you see that there you go right so that's it really i mean there's not a lot to say about it i mean you know the camera is the camera and the, the proof of the pudding is in the video as they say so we'll put up some a uh, set of videos so you can have a look and see what the actual quality is like and uh, make your own choice so i'll try and maybe even put up a comparison video just to give you an idea of what it's like compared to a phone say but there you go the dimica or dimica mini digital camera um uh, in all its glory as usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to the channel so we can get, bring you more cool stuff. Thanks.